Are you ready? I'm ready. We're ready. Okay. Where you go when you go away up there, way up there, through a hole in the air. He had a good life, he was the pride of his hometown. His dreams came true, his dreams will do, and they don't let you down. He yeah, had a good true love, as true as love can be. Their lifelines were intertwined for all the world to see. There's a hole in the air where the wind blows through. You can sing it with us. A hole in the air and it looks like you. Nobody knows where you go when you go away out there. Best friends in the planet's room around the great revolving wheel. The circumference of that kind of love is something to reveal. There's a hole in the air and the wind blows through. A hole in the air and it looks like you. Nobody knows where you go when you go away out there. Everybody's here. Um, not everybody, um, no. <laughs> but a large contingent of the people who spent so much time caring for Wayne, um, talking to him, communicating in whatever way we could, and um, just sending as much energy as you could to hopefully that he would improve. And he didn't improve, and he knew it, and uh, he chose his way out. Um, there are a couple of poems that we're going to read today and a, a few more songs, one more song, and um, then I do want you to know that um, there are photo albums in the library, which was also Wayne's office, that you're welcome to look through, and there's the video that Marie put together for the Remembrance in October that she will get started, get started. and um, you know, you're welcome to share what you'd like to share as we go through, but, um, and ignore that, that's our landline. <laughs> the spam mail. The spam exactly. mail. Um, I'm going to read you from um, a poem that John O'Donohue wrote uh, that I thought was particularly relevant. Somebody sent this to me after Wayne's death. Though we need to weep your loss, 
you dwell in that safe place in our hearts where no storm or night or pain can reach you. Your love was like the dawn brightening over our lives, awakening beneath the dark a further adventure of color. The sound of your voice found for us a new music that brightened everything. Whatever you enfolded in your gaze quickened in the joy of its being. You placed smiles like flowers on the altars of the heart. Mm -hmm. Your mind always sparkled with wonder at things. Though your days here were brief, your spirit was alive, awake, complete. We look toward each other no longer from the old distance of our names. Now you dwell inside the rhythm of breath, as close to us as we are to ourselves. So uh, as some of you know, I have a daily writing practice where I get a prompt and write from that prompt. And in the middle of August, the prompt was, it is you I will miss. When the holiday season ramps up, it is you I will miss. Standing next to me at the piano, the red book of carols holding in your hand, holding down the tenor line, while Tova's lovely soprano weaves with my alto and Bruce's bass on the Gloria in Excelsis Deo. Mm -hmm. When freshly cooked crab is tumbled across the paper-lined table, it is you I will miss, both of us pilers. <laughs> cracking the legs to extract the sweet meat, waiting until all the shells are emptied in a lovely mound on the plate, and then lifting a fork to savor the sea salt flavor of summer. When the black cod comes out of the smoker, glistening golden and succulent, it is you I will miss. Your delight when offered a portion, our shared love of this delicacy tying us to our father. When some family predicament has us teetering on the brink of indecision, it is you I will miss. Your careful deep listening and wise words guiding us away from the cliff edge back to solid ground. It is you I miss. Some of you who are not Jewish may not recognize this. This is a Yorkside candle, and um, agnostic. <laughs> we, we've talked about this. You know, there are, you know, there's the Irish wake, there's the Jewish sitting shiva after a death, and there's the anniversary of one's death in the Jewish religion, and lighting a Yorkside candle and a day of remembrance, essentially. Um, so I lit that partly because Wayne was uh, confronted with this Jew from the Bronx <laughs> after his Methodist Tacoma background and, uh, and he adopted it very well and he learned more Yiddish phrases than I knew. <laughs> and the songs. And the songs, <laughs> yes. And uh, he was, he never called me Meshuggah though. <laughs> but we did call Terry Meshuggah, okay. honestly. Um, so um, Another uh, of Marie's songs, this one was just recently, August oh. 29th, mm -hmm. called The Length of Silence, Creating Together. Um, and she's allowing me to read this because I think both of this poem is just about our feelings exactly. <sighs> the length of silence stretches over nearly a year now, mm -hmm. and yet I still hear your voice. Mm -hmm. This silence filled with a thousand words and a multitude of memories. Echoes of other conversations emerge as I wonder what you might say. How you might raise those eyebrows and peer at me over the rim of your glasses and gently offer some small wisdom wrapped in your love. <sighs> You need, you need your candles? Yes, I do. We're going to do a little bit of candle lighting if the matches work. I'll, I'll bring them over here. So we're going to end with another song. And, um, and each of us is going to play one. At Wayne's Remembrance Service, uh, Bruce and Robin and Larry and I each lit a candle. 
and uh, Bruce is playing. So one, two, three. Um, Ruth is taking pictures. Um, Who would like to play more piano, Malika? This is going to be. So this song is about those four candles and what they make us think of, and the the little chorus is so simple that if you catch it and want to sing along, please do. In fact, let's do the chorus twice in the beginning, just so that we catch it. You have gone, we're apart. So I'll light four candles in my heart. That's the chorus, let's do it again. You have gone, we're This was our cake. This was always our cake. <laughs> it saw us through birthdays and anniversaries and all these pictures in the other room and one of the albums is there's always a Nielsen's marzipan cake. Um, it was a wedding cake, two tiers. Mm -hmm. We were so popular at Nielsen's that they gave us the top part. <laughs> um, and fortunately, it's run by lovely people who took over the firm. And um, I thought a lot about what would be on it, and I just thought celebrate Wayne was the best thing to do. For me. So I will. We will cut the cake. We will have cake and more coffee and tea and. Um, I, uh, should we open it up for some people to share yeah, some I've things right now? Yeah, yeah. If there's You'd any like words to. someone wants to say, no. no but you can't chat with each other, you know. But um, <laughs> you're okay with. We'll just cut the cake otherwise. We'll take this out. Yeah. But thank you for being Thank you all. Yes, yeah, thank you. 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 Thank